from brain fog, hair loss, sleeping issues, and more. Our next guest is here with a few tips to help you make sure that you're feeling your best. This segment is sponsored by Healing Arts Center. Dr. Tammy Tucker is here to share more. Hey, Dr. Tammy. Yeah, thanks hey. for being here. Hey, hey, thank you. Glad to be here. Absolutely. Tell us more about Healing Arts Center. Yeah, well, first of all, I want to point out that the guy who accepted the awards with the paper is like, uh -huh. was naked. Yes. So my show is The Naked Doctor Show. <laughs> yeah, of course. And I'm here in clothes. So uh, hey. Oh, okay, Thank nice, goodness. nice. You just yes. walked for the night. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. healing us today with clothes. Thank you for yes, doing that. Yes, yes, you're so welcome. And also, I used to be on a time slot with you guys, so yeah. I've moved to daily at 8.30 on uh, On our sister station. Uh, yeah, That's right. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. You can find me there. People are like, where'd you go? I was like, <laughs> I moved. It's okay. Yeah, for sure. So those art centers, tell us about what you do there, Dr. Tammy. So it's more of a functional medicine. I'm a medical doctor, but I really got into, because I had my own hormone issues, that I had to address those. And so through that, traditional medicine really wasn't kind of fit in the bill. And okay. I'll be 55 on St. Patrick's wow. Day. Oh, nice. Don't so <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that. Because um, of hormones. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know, my box is really menopause. So, you know, we're talking about the topic I would talk about today yeah. is yeah. that menopause is very real. And the definition of menopause is a year without periods, basically. Mm -hmm. But it's so much bigger than that. And I wish there was a term that was well known that we could call that because once our ovaries dry up, you have a long time to go with that. <laughs> but before that, <laughs> but once like our <laughs> ovaries dry up, we have very little of that hormonal influence. Mm -hmm. And so it is the time from that point until death. And so, no offense here, Jason, but if a man had to go without hormonal influence, like until the end of yeah, time, couldn't imagine. you guys would not like it. <laughs> Take yeah. your testosterone yeah, away you. and you're done. So I really want to be an advocate and get the word out that this is a situation in which there's not enough yams and sweet potatoes and natural you know, supplements to get us through that. So I'm a real proponent of HRT. And so just letting women know, because there's so much that doctors really, I mean, we have like four hours of training in med school about menopause, because it's huh. just like, oh, it's just a thing. And again, no offense, Jason, but <laughs> it's mostly a male-dominated field. And sure. a man just cannot understand right. that we have, I always say men are like a light switch, and women are like the cockpit of an airplane when it comes to our hormones, because we have babies, and we have you know, menstrual cycles, mm -hmm. and all those things. So. As far as aging goes, everything's influenced from sure. our skin to our mood, and it's really in men's best interest for us to get the help we need. And a lot of times we're minimalized and marginalized. It's just like, oh, just suck it up. And a lot of women think they're being a martyr because we have such so many myths around estrogen, which is only one of like 10 different hormones that you can discuss with a doctor if they're willing to talk about it. And those influence our skin, our continents, again, our mood, and just our outlook on life, our libido, everything that goes with that. So I just want to be a proponent and an advocate that women don't have to suffer in silence. Sure. And to open the conversation and the dialogue with their doctors. Yeah, sure. absolutely. Yeah. What are some of the symptoms uh, that women would be looking at um, if they're entering into menopause? Well, you know, it's funny because women come to me and they've been so many different places and people don't listen to them and I'm like their last resort, which is really sad because I want to be an advocate for being their first resort. Sure. Okay. And so women can deal with hot flashes, they can deal with the mood changes, they can suck all that up, but weight gain is one of the biggest things that brings them to my office. And so when we have that conversation about, you know, all the other things that are like, oh, and you can fix that too? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's great. But, you know, mostly it's the weight gain. And okay. I have a personal story. When I turned 50 five years ago on my birthday, this is my birthday month, so it's like wow. all, okay. all this month is yeah. all yeah. birthday. That's right, that's right. <laughs> but um, I gained 15 pounds within six weeks, and I am the hormone queen. And I should, you know, I, these are all things that, for me, and I believe that things are done for us and not to us. Mm -hmm. And so I really had to be aware at that moment. Plus the mood changes. I was like, oh, my life is over, you know, like yeah. menopause has kicked in and I'm 50. But yeah, the weight gain was unreal. And sure. so I, I got to understand that for the first time. 
And so really, you know, when I address that with women, that imbalance between the estrogen, progesterone, testosterone is real. And then we start getting the belly fat because our cortisol kicks okay, up. Okay, so that's the yeah. thing to look out for. That's great. Tammy, yeah. thanks for being an advocate yes. and kind of filling us in on everything you have going on. Yeah. Well, we've got some information over on our website about how you can reach out to Dr. Tammy that's right. as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. come see me. I'll yeah. help you out. <laughs> yeah.